Okay, sound is good. Yep. Let's begin. Um, last one. Let's see where did we leave off. Oh, yes, one thirty-nine. Yeah. Oh, proves the second one. Okay. One thirty-nine. Um, tan squared x plus sine x cosec x tan squared is sine squared over cos squared and sine is sine and cosec is 1 over sine so they cancel so I mean, I guess I could put it together as one fraction. Would that be in any way useful? So that would be a cos squared here, and that would be a sine squared plus cos squared on the top. Um, yeah, I think that's as good as it's going to get. One over cos squared, which is sec squared x. Let's check the answer. One three nine is indeed sec squared. Okay. 140 sec x sin x sec x sin x cotan x sec x is 1 over cos that's sine and cotan is cos over sine oh that's funny sines cancel cos is cancel equals 1 that's funny. That's funny. Um, sec is 1 over cos. Sine is sine and cotan is sine. It's cos over sine. Yep. Okay. Okay. Uh, 1 4d1. Tan squared x over sec squared x. Tan squared is sine squared over cos squared, and sec squared is 1 over cos squared. The 1 over cos squareds cancel, leaving me with just sine squared x. And that is correct. 142. Sec, squared, uh, sec x minus cos x. That's 1 over cos x minus cos. Maybe we should combine them. So that would be cos. And then on the top would be 1 minus cos squared. Which is sine squared over cos. I guess we could write that as sine times sine over cos. Which would be sin x tan x 1 over cos cos is cos that's cos there 1 minus cos squared which is sine squared yeah I guess that's as simple as I can make it okay um, 143 1 plus tan theta squared minus 2 tan theta. That's going to be 1 plus 2 tan theta plus tan squared theta minus 2 tan theta. Uh, the two tans cancel and you're left with 1 plus tan squared theta, which is 1 plus sine squared over cos squared which is cos squared plus sine squared over cos squared cos squared over cos squared yeah so that's one over cos squared which is sec squared theta 143 are you sec squared you are 144 x times cosec x 
minus sine x. So let's see, sine x cos yeah, so that would be sine times one over sine uh, minus sine. So multiplying the sine in, that would be one minus sine squared, which is cos squared. So that's cos squared x. Okay. Now we have um, 146. One plus tan squared alpha over one. No, I skipped over 145. 145. Cos t over sine t plus sine t over one plus cos t. Uh, 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 should I multiply? Kind of have to. Let's see what happens. Sine t, 1 plus cos t, and then that would be cos t plus cos squared t plus sine squared t. So that's a 1. So that's 1 plus cos t. Oh, that's working out nicely over sine t times 1 plus cos t. So they cancel 1 over sine t cosec t. Is that right for 145? Yep, cosec t. Okay. Now time for 146. 1 plus tan squared alpha over 1 plus cotan squared alpha. That's 1 plus sine squared over cos squared over 1 plus cos squared over sine squared. Multiplying by sine squared cos squared, I'd get sine squared cos squared plus sine squared over sine squared cos squared plus cos squared. On the top, I can take out sine squared. And I have 1 plus cos squared. On the bottom, I can take out cos squared. And I'd have 1 plus sine squared. I'm going to hit a dead end. Do, 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 do. Tink, tink, tink. 1 plus cos squared, 1 plus sine squared. Do I want to change them? Cos squared is 1 minus sine squared. Hmm. <laughs> Do I want to separate them? It's hmm. a good one. I have it. Oh, I'm going to change the one into cos squared plus sine squared plus cos squared over, I hope I don't regret this, cos squared, cos squared plus sine squared plus sine squared. No, that doesn't seem right. Because on the top, that'll be sine squared. 2 cos squared plus sine squared, and on the bottom, that'll be cos squared, uh, 2 sine squared plus cos squared. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm. No. So... 
Maybe I should go back in time. It feels nicer if it was minuses instead of plus. A sub of tea might help. Oh, I made a mistake. Mm -hmm. I made a mistake. That's why maybe I'm having trouble. So here, when I multiplied everything by sine squared cos squared, this becomes sine 4. And this is sine squared cos squared plus cos 4. Now that changes things quite a bit. So if I take the sine squared out, I'll be left with cos squared plus sine squared. And if I take the cos squared out, I'd be left with sine squared plus cos squared. But sine squared plus cos squared is one. So you're just left with sine squared over cos squared, which is tan squared alpha. Now that's really uh, interesting. So much so that I actually want to check it on my calculator. So 1 plus tan squared and then 1 plus cotan squared. So I'll just put in a, a random angle like tan 30 degrees. And I get 1 over 3. And then if I type in tan 30 and squared, I also get 1 over 3. So yeah, that, that appears to work. Okay, that's a nice one. That's a tough one. Well, maybe it's not so tough. I made a mistake. That's what kind of uh, made things a little bit harder. Okay. Now on to... Um, 147. I doubt there's solutions in here for 147 because they're proofs. Yeah. Yeah. So 147. Well, I guess we don't really need a solution because we know if we've proven it or not. Um, tan times cotan over cosec. Does that equal sine theta? Let's check it by starting with tan theta cotan theta over cosec theta. That's equal to tan theta and cotan is one over tan theta. And then cosec is one over sine theta. So they cancel and it's one over one over sine. So that's sine theta. Yep, that one's done. 148. Again, I'll start with sec squared theta over tan theta sec is one over cos squared theta and then tan is sine theta over cos theta so that's one over cos squared theta times cos theta over sine theta that cancels with the square giving me one over cos times 1 over sine, well, I don't need to write that again, and 1 over cos is sec theta, and 1 over sine is cosec theta. Is that what we need? Sec and cosec, yep, QED. Okay, 149. Sine t over cosec t plus cos t over sec t. So that's sine t over 1 over sine t plus cos t over 1 over cos t. That's sine squared t plus cos squared t, which equals 1, which is what we need. Okay. Next now, 150. Um, sine x 
over cos x plus 1 plus cos x minus 1 over sine x. Okay. Um, maybe I will multiply the bottoms together. That's cos x plus 1 times sine x. And then on the top, it will be sine squared x, sine x by sine x. And then cos x minus 1 times cos x plus 1. That's the difference of two squares. That would be cos squared x minus 1 squared. Uh, but on the top, sine squared plus cos squared is 1. So you get 1 minus 1 um, over anything. We don't really care what's on the bottom now, as long as it's not 0, uh, which will be 0 QED. Um, that is 150 should be 0. Yep. Okay. Now on to 151. One, 151. Cotan gamma plus tan gamma. That's going to equal 1 over tan gamma plus tan gamma. Um, I guess I didn't have to go to the tan. I could have just gone straight to saying cos gamma over sine gamma plus sine gamma over cos gamma. Multiplying the bottoms, that's sine gamma, cos gamma, and then the top would be cos squared gamma plus sine squared gamma, which would be 1 over sine gamma and 1 over cos gamma, which is cosec gamma, sec gamma. Um, cosec and sec, yep, that's right. Q, E, D. Um... 152. Sine squared plus tan squared plus cos squared. Okay. Sine squared beta plus tan squared beta plus cos squared beta. That would be sine squared beta plus sine squared beta over cos squared beta plus cos squared beta. Oh, that's weird, actually, because the first two add together to make one. So that would be the first, I mean, the first and the last add to make one. So that's one plus sine squared beta over cos squared beta, which would be all over cos squared beta, cos squared beta plus sine squared beta on the top, which would be one over cos squared beta which would be sec squared beta, which is what we're supposed to get. Okay, and then one more for today, 153. Well, actually, maybe I should do two more. One over one minus sine alpha plus one over one plus sine alpha. You multiply the bottoms together, it's the difference of two squares, one minus sine squared alpha. And then the tops would be 1 plus sine alpha plus 1 minus sine alpha. Uh, that's 2 uh, over 1 minus sine squared alpha. Minus sine squared alpha. Mm. One's looking a bit trickier. Uh, ah, 1 minus sine squared is cos squared. So that's 2 sec squared alpha. Yep. Okay, we'll finish on 154. That seems like a good place to stop. 154. Tan theta minus cotan theta over sine theta cos theta. Mm. I wonder if a different strategy might be better for this one. So that's um, sine over cos minus cos over sine over sine times cos. So that would be sine squared 
minus cos squared over cos sine over sine cos. Um, multiplied, so that would be sine squared minus cos squared over cos squared sine squared, if you multiply above and below by one over sine cos. Mm. What do I want to do about the top? What do I want to do about the bottom? Um, 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 um. Yeah, maybe I'll just say sine squared over cos squared sine squared minus cos squared over cos squared sine squared. That's 1 over cos squared minus 1 over sine squared, which would be sec squared theta minus cosec squared theta. Yep, that's it. That is it. Okay, next time we've got some trig equations to solve, then some graphing, and then the calculator question. There's a lot of questions in this trig one, isn't there? Yeah, it's kind of a big exercise. Okay, well, that's it for today. So we actually got a good bit done. Um, 139 to 154. Not bad going. Okay, thanks for watching. See you next time.